Hey everyone! Um, so this week's video, I have a goal of making a video every week, so this week's video is all about um, what it really means to truly love yourself. And I know um, it's always hard to explain into words for me to explain what I feel, what that truly does mean. What does it mean to truly, for me to love myself, heart, mind, body, and soul? And the best way I can to just I can describe that is um, when before I was pregnant, as I have said before in past videos, um, I had an eating disorder. And I was not happy with my body, even though I was super duper skinny and I was in smaller sizes, I wasn't happy with myself and I really did not love myself truly. Um, I went from 172 pounds down to 128 pounds in a maximum of two months. Um, of course, in my mindset, I thought that I had achieved that in about a year, and I don't know why I thought that. I can't say what made me think that. It's just what mental illness can do to you. And I also suffered from body dysmorphic syndrome, meaning that I could look in the mirror and I would just see things, I would just see myself completely different than what other people saw me. As. So, and also I could just make body parts grow. It, all of a sudden, like if I felt like my thighs weren't um, that small and I felt like I had huge thighs, I could just make my thighs grow in the mirror. Um, it's really hard to explain, but when you have like mental illness like that, it was, it's, um, yeah, I don't, I couldn't even explain it then. I can't explain it now because I mean, like I said, I had no idea, um, what made me believe that I had lost all that weight in a year when it literally only took me a month and a half, not even two months. So I don't know, but, um, but even though I was really skinny and I was in my sizes, I was in sizes like three to fives. Um, I had no muscle tone. I was just kind of, um, flabby, I guess I want to say. Um, I mean, I, I didn't look good. I was happy that I was skinny, but I wasn't truly happy with myself. I wasn't um, happy. You know, I still didn't have the body that I want. I still had the body dysmorphic syndrome. So it was still altering the way I looked in the mirror than what other people saw me. When other people saw me, they saw a sick girl. They saw my cheekbones sticking out. They saw my hip bones sticking out, my ribs showing. Um, they saw dark circles under my eyes, and I didn't see that. I did not notice anything like that. But then when now, when I've gone back into my old photos of when I was in the middle of my eating disorder, I actually do notice those things that everyone was pointing out to me. Um, but like I said, I didn't think that I was doing anything wrong. My mindset was completely different, and I really did not think that I was suffering as bad. And then when I got pregnant... You know, my mindset, I believed that I had a high metabolism. I thought that I could eat whatever I want and then just lose the baby weight, you know, almost instantly. And I was horribly wrong because, and the way, the reason why I thought this was because I, like I said, I would not eat all day long and I would never eat after 8 o'clock. So if 8 o'clock like rolled around and I hadn't eaten yet, then I wouldn't eat it all that day. So I was basically, I was literally like starving myself. I was borderline anorexic, but I still loved food and I still love sweet, sweet. My sweet tooth is like my huge weakness. And so that's why I felt like I had a high metabolism because when I would eat dinner and then have like dessert, I could basically eat whatever I wanted to. I could have as many slices of pizza as possible in that, in that area of dinner time. And I wouldn't gain weight. I would just keep, I just lost and lost and lost because I wouldn't eat at all except for that one time. So for me, that was like, okay, well, my metabolism is super high and I can eat whatever I want and not gain a pound when really I was ruining and shattering my metabolism. So after I had my son, I was 
just completely distraught. I was bigger than what I was in high school. Um, in high school, before I started my eating disorder, I was in sizes um, 10s, 11s. Um, and then right out, and then after I had my son, I was in like 13s and 14s, but I wouldn't even wear that. I would wear 15s because um, I wanted to wear clothes that were bigger than me because I felt big. Uh, I don't like to use the F word. Fuck. Say fluff. I felt fluffy. Um, I didn't. I didn't like wearing any clothes that basically just hugged my body. I had to wear baggy clothing. I hated it because I was always worried that people were looking at me. And looking at my curves, you know, I have a natural hourglass figure and my body shape is a little bit different than I notice from other women, you know. And that's another thing I did that was really bad that women should never do. I compared myself to other girls and I, I should know better. I have a different body type. I have a different bone structure. I have different genes. No one is ever, 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 ever exactly alike. It's scientifically impossible, basically, right now. I mean, I don't know about cloning or anything, but from what I know, um, I am unique and beautiful in my own way, just as everybody else is unique and beautiful in their own way. So that was wrong of me to compare myself to other women. And, um, but I was just always self-conscious. I couldn't even... Um, I didn't like to show my arms. I didn't like to show legs. I, I mean, even when I had my eating disorder, I didn't like to wear shorts. I would wear tank tops because my arms were smaller, but I didn't, I wouldn't rock like a bikini. I didn't, like, I just had no confidence whatsoever. Even though I was really skinny, I didn't have the confidence, um, that, you know, that I, I needed to be able to walk in public. And wear whatever I wanted. Um, so when the time came, um, you know, I had had my son and I was getting more and more and more and more depressed. I was having, um, I was starting up on my eating disorder again. I was just, I was basically going downhill and I was bringing my family down with me. And I was irritable all the time. I cried myself to sleep every single night. I couldn't even be intimate with my husband because I didn't feel beautiful. I didn't feel sexy. I, I didn't feel like I was good enough. I didn't feel like I should even be worthy of him to touch me. Um, and then after my husband and I would be intimate, I would quickly run into the bathroom and I would look at myself in the mirror naked and I would just cry. I, um, uh, I can't even explain it. I would just cry to myself. I would even cry while being intimate with my husband because I just didn't feel beautiful. But I would hide it, you know, I'd cover my face and I'd wipe my tears away and if he saw me and asked me if I was okay, I would lie to him and I would say, yeah, I'm just fine. Because I didn't feel beautiful and I didn't feel um, like I like I deserved to be touched. Um, I didn't feel like I deserved to go out in public with him. Um, like I was just completely and utterly disgusted with myself, and that's no way anybody should ever see themselves ever. Um, and there were even times where he, he got so fed up with me because all I did was cry and wish and pray for some magic pill where I would just go to sleep and I'd wake up skinny again. And he just got to the point where he was like, you know, I can't do this anymore. I have done everything I can to try and help you. He's like, if you want something to change, you have to get up and change it yourself. You can't just sit and cry about it because if you sit and cry about it, then nothing's going to happen. So at first, you know, I was thinking, oh, well, he's being so insensitive, he doesn't understand, he doesn't care. Um, but now I realize that he was giving me tough love and that's what I needed. Well, when he deployed, um, as, I, as I said in my videos before, my husband deployed and I made that goal to lose the weight and, um, you know, I gave my, um, I gave myself a goal of how many pounds I wanted to lose and what sizes I wanted to be in and um, I didn't reach my weight goal 
and here's why. Um, I learned that weight loss and fat loss is like completely different and I learned to really fall in love with fat loss over weight loss and it actually um, really helped me overcome my weight issues to where I weighed about ten, five, five or 10 pounds more. I wanted to get down to 130. Right now, I usually fluctuate between um, 135, 140, um, 145, you know, usually depending. And, you know, for the first time in my life, I'm okay with being above 130. Whereas then before, I wouldn't have been okay with that. Um, but even though I didn't get down to my goal weight, I got to my goal size. And that's when I really learned that fat loss is different. And for me, it's better than weight loss. Um, you know, there you can have a girl here who's 130 pounds and a size 5, but you can have a girl over here who's like 140 pounds and in a size 2 because she lifts heavy weights and she eats right and she gains muscle, but she's leaner and smaller. So, um... Over time, I learned to overcome the weight issue that was always in the back of my mind to where now when I go to the doctors and if I get weight, I don't even look at the scale anymore. I don't even step on my scale here at home anymore um, because I won't. Um, I don't like to see my weight because I don't want that to come back. Um, but when I see it at the doctors, I just shrug it off and go, it's okay. It's okay. Um, but I'm no longer afraid of the scale. I don't let the scale control me anymore. But the main part about my entire journey with Beachbody was that I just absolutely fell in love with myself. And I, I'm trying I'm gonna try and explain how this happened. Just every time I got results with a program from Beachbody, um, my confidence just kept getting higher and higher and higher. Um, I got over my fear of food. I'm not afraid to eat. In fact, I made fun of a lot because of how much I eat. And they're like, oh my God, where do you fit all that? I'm like, well, I'm always hungry. Um, but I got over my fear of food. So I eat. I don't eat whatever I want. I can eat whatever I want as long as it's healthy and it's clean. Um... You know, I can snack all day as long as it's healthy snacks. You know, like I've gotten to the point where I can eat multiple times a day and not worry about how many calories I'm consuming. I'm not terrified of calories anymore. I eat breakfast now every day. Um, I used to never eat breakfast. When I was told that I needed to be consuming at least 1,400 calories a day, that terrified me. And, um, and I can now look in the mirror and I'm taking my husband's advice. He always told me that, you know, if there's something that you don't physically like about yourself, don't think of it as disgusting and don't think of it as that's something that's wrong with you. Just think of it as something that you're improving in yourself. You know, you are awesome and beautiful and sexy the way you are. You're just adding to that awesome and beautifulness and sexiness. So that's what I do now. So when I look in the mirror, and, um, you know, there's a part of my body that I don't like because, you know, I'm a woman. <laughs> I carried a baby. I have a few weak areas still, even after the, the past two years that I've been doing this fitness lifestyle, I still have a couple of weak areas that I still have a hard time getting to. But does that make me or does it break me? It makes me. I think of that as an improvement. I think, and I'm not conceited. I just love myself. I know I'm a beautiful woman, I know I'm sexy, and I know that I have great confidence and I can rock whatever I wear. And I know I'm awesome and I know I'm a badass. So what can I do to improve that? So when I find something on my body that I don't really necessarily care about, I just think of ways that I can improve it. You know, like, well, okay, well I don't really care what's going on right here in my thighs. Well, what can I do to improve that? I can do more lunges, I can do more squats, I can lift heavier weights, you know, um, just little things like that. So now, I don't, I don't think I've actually cried in front of a mirror in two years. And that's the best feeling in the world. Um, and in fact, my husband actually catches me checking myself out in the mirror because I just can't 
sometimes I'm just like, I can't get over how beautiful or how hot I look. And that's not being conceited. That's just me having the confidence to know that I am beautiful and I am sexy. Even though I'm not perfect, I don't have the body of, um, you know, Autumn Calabrese and all those awesome women from Beachbody. And, you know, I may not be where they are at, but I am still awesome and badass in my own way. I am unique in my own way and I am beautiful in my own way. And that's one thing that is, um, that I always stress, um, and that's also another reason why I became a Beachbody coach. I wanted women and men to feel this way about themselves. Um, it's super, super important to have physical health, you know, in terms of like your mental health. Like your mental health really has a huge part in your physical health. If you do not truly love yourself, then physically... Think it's not going to turn out, you know, I did not truly love myself, so what did I do? What did I do? I harmed myself. I never truly loved myself, so I harmed myself. I let those negative things control me, and I starved myself, and I made myself sick with worry and stress. So that's what I mean by truly honestly loving yourself. It's just that positive energy that you put out and put back into yourself. You, Your body does what you believe it can do. True strength does not come from what you can do. It comes from what you thought you couldn't do. So if I'm looking in the mirror and I'm thinking, oh, I, I'm disgusting, I'm fluffy, and I'm can't do it, then I can't do it. I'm not going to put my all into my workouts. I'm not going to put my all into my food. I'm going to want to eat comfort food. I'm going to harm myself. Whereas then if I look in the mirror and I tell myself, you're gorgeous, you look great, you keep it up and you can improve this and that and this and that, it's going to make me work harder. I'm going to kill my workout. I'm going to eat better. I'm going to find different ways to eat better, different substitutes that I can use. When you put positive enforcement on yourself, body and soul and your mind, then, you know, those positive results will come. It may not come as fast as you want them to, but they come. And the best part is they stay because you get so hooked. Um, not just the physical transformation that you have earned. You are hooked on that mental transformation. You are hooked on positive energy. And that's all you want in life. And that's basically like in the best way that I can describe how important it really is to truly love yourself. Don't ever let that scale control you. Do not compare yourself to other women. Okay? And if there is something that you want to change, then get up and change it. Join a challenge group. Us coaches are always there to help you. We know what it's like because we've been there and we've done that. And that's what I want to do. If you want to improve yourself, but you need that motivation, that support, I will give you that motivation and support. And that's, um, and that's like the best, to me, that's the best thing in the world. You can never truly love yourself unless you truly believe it. I believe that no matter what size you are, how much you weigh, what color of skin, whatever, if you truly love yourself and you have full-on confidence and you rock that bikini no matter what you look like and no matter what people say about you, kudos. That's awesome. And that's my goal to help my challengers get to. Now, there's a huge difference between really having that confidence like I just described someone who will go out and rock a bikini no matter what weight or size they are they don't care what people think because they know they are damn sexy there's people like that and then there are the people that settle the people that settle are the ones who want to lose weight but don't want to put in the effort so they make excuses and say things like well real men love curves um, real men like meat on the bones, you know, things like that. But then the next day they're like, oh, well, I want to try and lose weight. So I'm going to go to the gym. They're settling. I don't believe in settling. 
If there is something that you want to change and improve about yourself to make you more badass, then do it. No, because I always believed my husband. I believed my husband when he said that he loved me and that he thought I was beautiful and that he thought I was sexy. I believed that he believed that I was sexy and beautiful. But nothing was going to change my mind until I believed that I was sexy and beautiful. And I know for some people it's like, well, that's all you need is your family to love you for who you are. But, you know, your family isn't you. You are you. And it's important that you love yourself, not just the people around you. There's a huge difference from someone else loving you for who you are, thinking that you don't need to change, compared to you loving yourself for who you are and thinking that you don't need to change. So that's basically what I mean by truly loving yourself. And that's why I'm a coach. I help. I want to help women get that confidence so they can rock that bikini no matter what, they, uh, what size, what weight they are. Um, because everybody has a health and different health and fitness goals. Some people want to lose weight. Some people want to lose fat. Some people want to tone up. Some people want to bulk up. Everyone's different. And my goal is to get them to those goals, both physically and mentally. And of course, I'm wearing the right shirt today. Nothing but love here. So, <laughs> but yeah, that's, um, that's basically right now the best way that I can describe what it means to truly love yourself. And I used me as an example. I can honestly say that I truly love myself. Um, so for those, for everyone who is watching, um, I want to challenge you all. Every morning that you wake up, I want you to look in the mirror and I want you to, to compliment yourself. I want you to say, hey, how you doing? Good looking. How you doing? Sexy. How you doing? Beautiful. But don't just tell yourself that. Believe that. And you'll know what I'm saying. You'll see a difference. Okay? So, I'm going to end the video now. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Now start falling in love with yourself, everybody.